Hey, good morning, folks. It's Pastor George greeting you this Thursday, April 30th, 2020. It's hard to believe it's the end of April um, already. It, you know, uh, uh, April and March were just kind of really rough months, haven't they? Uh, but we're hoping May we can begin to see the end of the tunnel as things start to loosen up, as we're able to interact more. And um, we're just believing for uh, that May is going to bring good things. But speaking of light, um, at the end of the tunnel, uh, we're going to be looking at a scripture today in Matthew chapter 5. This is part of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. And in verse 14, Jesus tells his disciples, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. You know, um, la this last year, or last year, my wife and I took a trip up to northern Wisconsin. And along the, we stayed along the coast of Lake Superior. And it was just a beautiful time that we had and uh, a beautiful trip that we had. And one of my favorite parts of that trip was visiting the many lighthouses that are along the coast there. And, and I just kind of love the history of that. I love loved seeing these old structures and how they were, uh, how they um, were used. And, and I learned quite a bit about lighthouses that during that time and, and several things I didn't know. You know, each lighthouse was placed uh, there in, in their location for a reason. It, it was a prime location. It was where they needed to be. But one thing I did not know that I learned is each light had its own unique si signal. It wasn't just a beacon that flashed. It, there were, it was timed so that uh, sailors in the dark would would see a signal and and they would recognize that it came from a certain lighthouse and that lighthouse was placed there to help them navigate the coast they would know what part of the coast they they were on by seeing the signal of that lighthouse well what is so interesting about that is is that it was uh, the uniqueness of it that that uniqueness of that lighthouse was placed there well keep that in mind as we read this scripture because jesus said that a city set on a hill um, is not cannot be hidden that same term that that term set on a hill carried that same idea of strategically placed. In ancient times, a city was not just, hey, I feel like this is a nice view. They would place it strategically for defense, as well as the same concept of, of being able to uh, be a beacon, especially along the, the lake, uh, or the sea the mediterranean sea and of the coastline it was placed there for a reason to help navigators to help those who were traveling uh, it was placed there as a defense and and it was not indiscriminate there was a reason that city was there well jesus is wanting us to realize this very same thing our lives have a reason. We are at the place where we are for a reason. We are in the situations where we are for a reason, and that is to be a light. And sometimes we can look at our lives and think, well, I don't feel like I have any purpose. I don't feel like I'm really serving God here. I don't feel like, you know, maybe you are in a difficult work situation, or maybe you are in uh, living in a place where you just don't like it, and, and you wonder, why am I, I there? Well, this is the reason. God has each of us in a place at a time. Uh, even us going through this COVID-19, realize God's purpose for us as Christians and as the church is to be a light. It is to bring hope. It is to bring grace. It is to display his love to the world around us. Maybe uh, you don't always get along with your neighbors, or maybe they frustrate you, or maybe you have co-workers that you don't get along with. God wants you to shine the light of his love in that dark place. They, maybe they aren't believers. Maybe they swear all the time. Maybe they uh, ridicule all the time. And, and it's difficult to be around. Maybe you need to just stop. Uh, stop and take time to pray for them. Um, 
take time to just say, God, how can I show your love to people that, that maybe don't know that love? And God wants us all to be that light, especially in this time of uh, confusion, of uh, where people are filled with fear. We need to be the example as Christians. And the way that we do that is to let his light shine within us. So can I encourage you during this time, uh, uh, stop and let your spirit be filled with God's Holy Spirit. Let your heart be filled with his love so that you can be that light where, uh, where right where you are to your neighbors, to your friends, to your family. Um, they need to see Christ during this time and you have the privilege of being that lighthouse for him. Father, today we stop and we pause and think what a privilege it is to serve you. Sometimes we wonder why are we in the situation that we are in. But whatever situation, even if it's difficult, we pray that God, you will fill us with the light of your love so that we can shine that light to those around us. May it be just a word of encouragement. May it just be to pray for those around us. May it be to sh somehow show your love through an act of service or of kindness or giving towards those around us. Let us be people of faith. We, we have, you have a reason and a purpose in, in life for every one of us, whether we are a pastor, a missionary, whether we are uh, working at a factory or on a farm or, or in whatever area we are, you have called us to be a light for Christ. So we want our light to, to shine for you and to bring glory to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, folks, you have a blessed day today. We continue, you continue to be in our thoughts and prayers, and, and I'm going to be sharing uh, later some uh, announcements on, on what we can expect in the next couple weeks as we are preparing to open up services again and, and, and be able to join together in worship. But God bless you folks today.